Hey everybody, today I'm going to be talking to you about the ATC 200 and the one year predecessor, the ATC 185. What we're looking at here is 1980, 1981, late for work, but I'll work extra hard at lunchtime maybe and make up for it. But this leaves um, this leaves one machine left to get uh, 1971 US 90 in summer yellow. Okay, so here we are. We've tracked it down. 81 ATC 200. Definitely not the sexiest three-wheeler Honda ever made, but fills that void in the collection. So let's get it loaded. We are loaded. It's pretty respectable shape. There has been some messing around with the motor. We can see obviously that clutch cover is not supposed to be red and there is no decompression cable anymore. It does have the rack, so that's nice. Tires aren't original, but that's not a big deal. I did notice the gentleman said the recoil, there was a problem with it. That is not the right recoil, but I believe I have a spare that will fit. The tank is respectable. It just needs to be cleaned up and given some love. But that'll be later, because now I gotta get to work. So I made it to work and 
brought the machine home after and I wheeled it in. It's, it's up there by the front near the main door. And we had a bunch of work to do to, to make some room. And it was at this time I decided I wanted to, to get the other ATC 200s out and the, uh, the 185 and do a comparison video. But everything was standing up on end how I'd left it for the winter. So what you're seeing here is me wheeling everything out and moving things around and, and getting the machines down on three wheels again. These are what I call my B team. It's not the the best machines I have, but they're they're all respectable in, in their own way. And what's left standing up are the the machines I'm going to wheel out right here and do a little walkthrough with you. Are they all clean? So this is the 1980. ATC 185. This is not a 185S. This is a one year only ATC 185. So the year before this came out, 1979, Honda made ATC 70 for the little kids. And for the adults, the ATC 110. Big difference. Not really. So it was quite a jump for them to go in the next model year and bring out the ATC 185. It's orange. It's not a trick that your eyes are playing on you. Those are red. The 1980-185 was an orange machine with a round headlight. These are not the original tires. Everything else is fairly original. A couple, uh, a couple repairs over the years. I'll point those out to you, but in 1980, this was the big dog. This is the year before the 250R came out. This was the biggest displacement Honda three-wheeler made in 1980. So it has orange fenders, orange tank, the decal is yellow and gray with a little bit of red there on the ATC. There is no suspension. This is a hardtail, no suspension in the forks. The rack was optional. I think they look silly without the rack, so I'm thankful this one has one. It's a very utilitarian machine. Pull start, no electric start, drum brakes, Toe hitch was an option. They have a trunk. You'll notice my decals have seen better days. A friend of mine, Bruce Allman, at Blue Line Decals, makes reproductions. So I ordered some from him and I will be putting them on this summer. I'm a big advocate for original seat covers but I'm at the point where I think I'm gonna put a reproduction on that just to make it look better. I'd love to have original tires, which I'm not even sure what they are. Probably an Atsu Whammy Last tire, probably just a little square knobby, but I don't think these Scorpions look too bad, so they'll stay. It's just been mildly restored, and I like it. But the next year, 1981, they bumped it up. So now in 1981, the, the 250R is now the top dog, but there's no big red or anything like that. This is still the, the machine you get if you have a farm or you have some property that you wanna work. Racks are still an option. It's still chain drive, but they bumped up the displacement. It's the same motor essentially, but they made a 200 out of it. You'll notice the round headlight of the 185 has now gone to a square headlight. The 110 did the same thing. This is the first year of the square headlight. But the switch is still on top. You'll notice that disappear the next year and be replaced with a switch on the handlebar. 
a little trick I always use to help me tell what year a machine is based on the, the gas tank decals is 81 has white, 82 has blue. That works for me, maybe it'll work for you too, but. I believe that's the original seat cover. In 1980, they were pleated or fake pleated like that. 1981, it's just a, a seam around the edge and you'll notice same seat on the 82. In the 83, they differ a little bit, but we're not there yet. We're back on 81. This machine I just picked up. This was one of the last machines I needed to, to fill up my collection. They're not overly sexy. You know, most people don't really care about these machines. Maybe you had one when you were a kid, you might want one because of that. But I needed one because I needed to fill that void. You'll notice the, the gas tank has a little fade to the paint. I don't believe that's the right recoil. And plus look at it, it's sticking out. I think that's probably a 200M recoil or something like that. The front tire loses air. There's a little crack in the rear plastic there. Oh, and look at this, it's a, a travesty of the three-wheeler world. The shift shaft has been welded on. I do have a parts motor for one of these, so we'll do what we can with that bin of goodies. It does have the rack, so that is a big plus. The decals are gone from the rear fenders. They would look something like the 82. We'll have to track those down, not even my friend Bruce has those. Another great decal guy is Scott Sansusi, DDR Slap, up in New Hampshire. He might even have those ready to go. I flip-flop between the both of them. I like them both, they're both great guys. You'll notice my tail light on the 81. It's broken, I believe I have a, a brand new one in the package. So on this side, you'll see somebody has rattle canned that clutch cover, a nice a nice tone of red. I'd prefer black and we'll make sure it's black in the future. See my exhaust is missing the guard. But if you look at that motor and you look at the 185 motor, it's the same thing. It's just a either a bigger bore, slightly bigger top end. Something I'm noticing right now, the 185 has a manual decompression lever there at the top of the jug. 1981, they introduce the decompression as part of the recoil, but we already know this recoil is goofed up, so that lever is just swinging in the breeze there. 82, you'll notice the cable that runs to the other side. So it gets activated with the recoil. Moving on to 1982, as we said before, 82 has blue, so. We know that's an 82 based on the tank. Now I should tell you that all these tanks are interchangeable. So you can't consider that the smoking gun when it comes to putting a year on a machine. You'd have to look at other things. Like we know this has no headlight switch. 81 had the, was the last year for the on the headlight headlight switch. Right now, 82 around the handlebar. Rack is still an option. You'll notice this one has no tow hitch. Somebody didn't have the $20 or whatever it was, I guess, to, to put the tow hitch on. This appears to be the only one that doesn't. Looking at them, they are all different. Ignore my jack, because my tire has a bad tube in it. I guess that's just a little extension welded on. So the 82, as we said, doesn't have the optional 
tow hitch. I'm not sure what else was an option on this. Maybe it was a speedo speedometer. Call them speedos for short. These tires are not the correct tires for this machine, but they are Atsu, they are Honda. These were a puncture resistant option that you could get for your big red. They were common in 85, 86, 87. Uh, my understanding is they were quite expensive. These are the XA601s. So not a lot of people sprung for them, but I picked them up. They were on a big red that I got in 83. So we put them on this machine and I love the look of them. You'll notice the, the motor looks the same. It doesn't have the red clutch cover. I think I like the black better. Post down in the comments if you prefer the red. I'd like to know who you people are. But moving on, the last year of the ATC 200. 1983. You'll notice this one has racks front and back. The front rack is not Honda line. This is from a company. So the rack is from a company called Cambridge Metals and Plastics Incorporated. Also known as CMP. They also made stump guards for big reds and other racks and accessories that you'll see around. This is the kind of rack design that they were known for. So in 1983, an upgrade that happened on most Honda ATCs was the introduction of front suspension. So all the other forks are rigid. 83 introduced a, a short suspended front end. This was the same on the 83 185S. Big Reds existed at this time. They started out in 82, so they had a little bit of front suspension. But now they put it on the, the regular machines. These were all chain drive, no high-low, just the gears that the engine offered and chain drive, no reverse. The rear tires, these are original rear tires for the 83 ATC 200. The front is not correct. If I had to guess, that would be the same in 82. Maybe it was only 83. It might have just had a, a single knobby. I'll, I'll do some homework, see if I can dig up a picture between now and when this video gets put together. But I just wanted to go through this chassis style. So the 185 size motor continued in 81, only on a smaller chassis. These are all you can see. They look the same. They're the same sort of chassis. The 185S turned into a little bit smaller machine and continued on for 81, 82, 83. We'll cover those in a different, a different video. So you notice the decals for the 83 differ a little bit from the 82. 81 decals are missing but I can tell they were there because there is just a little bit of difference in the plastic it's a little sun checked where the decals weren't so that's one way you can tell where stickers were but again I'll locate those as always my goal is to try to put these back as close to original as they were Sometimes I deal with aftermarket tires if I have to. I'll get a tail light on the 81. I'll get a tube in these tires so I don't have to make videos with the machine on a jack stand. And we'll just improve as we go.
Everybody, thanks for watching. Hopefully you like what you saw. Maybe you learned a couple things you didn't already know. But uh, as always, if you did uh, enjoy it, don't forget to like. Please subscribe to my channel if you want updates and more videos like this uh, as I put them together. And feel free to uh, comment on things that you, uh, that you notice, maybe questions you have or things that you noticed that I got wrong because I don't know everything and, and I'd like to learn too. So if I missed the mark on something, please let me know. But uh, thank you for watching and have a great day and be safe.